Pursuing a dream in the beginning is often easy and exciting because we're confident in our abilities and often think it will happen faster than it often does. But it's those moments where you've invested a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of energy into something, and you're not getting the results you're hoping for that it can zap your motivation and make you want to quit. This video will give you three ideas to think about to help you stay motivated when you feel like giving up. Let's start with the first idea, now. Number one, have a balanced sense of control. A couple weeks ago, I learned this concept when I was reading 13 Things Mentally Strong People Don't Do by Amy Morin, a book I highly recommend you check out. If you consume personal development content, I'm sure you've come across the internal and external loci of control. You're discouraged from having an external locus of control where the outcomes in your life are due to factors outside of your control, like fate and chance. And you're encouraged to have an internal locus of control, where you believe you can control your destiny and that you are the cause of your failures and that you are the cause of your successes. And if you want to get better results, you just need to try harder. Now, although believing you have complete control in your life can motivate you to work harder, it has a way of backfiring when you give everything you have to something and still experience negative outcomes. Amy Morin says in her book that mentally strong people have a balanced sense of control. She said, those who strike the right balance of control recognize how their behaviors can affect their chances of success, but they also identify how external factors, such as being in the right place at the right time, can play a role. Those who have the balance of control in their lives have an easier time staying motivated because they don't dwell on what's out of their control. And instead, they invest their resources in areas that actually can lead to positive differences. Number two, obstacles are unavoidable. A big part of why we lose motivation is that we don't have the right expectations on what it will take to succeed on many of our goals. It's easy to focus on the person who appeared to get excellent results in a short period of time and expect that we can have the same good fortune. But when we don't experience that good fortune, we may consider pursuing a goal that is more obtainable. This is basically what shiny object syndrome is, where we drop the goal that we are currently pursuing in favor of some new and exciting goal. But you need to realize that the goal you're considering quitting right now was in the beginning very likely a shiny object too, until some obstacles and hardships made it less shiny. And if that's the case, isn't it possible the new dream you want to start pursuing will have the same effect once you experience obstacles? Simply put, with any worthwhile goal, it will often take more effort than you expected, take longer than you expected, and you'll experience more challenges and hardships than expected. And you need to be willing to embrace that obstacles are unavoidable. And you need to decide if you'll work to overcome those obstacles and grow, or try to avoid them and remain where you are. Number three, work out of love. It was the late Zig Ziglar who said, the workaholic works out of fear or greed. The peak performer works out of love. I'm starting to realize some people have what they achieve directly connected to their self-worth. Many admire and look up to these workaholics, but it could be their core drive is out of fear. They fear that if they don't produce results, they won't be loved and accepted. As long as they're producing results and on top of the world, things are okay. But the moment they catch a bad break, or there's someone outshining them, it could potentially derail their life. And to address the greed factor of the workaholic, if our drive to produce is too self-focused, we'll find over time that it's an appetite that can never produce long-term satisfaction. And motivation out of self-indulgence can only take us so far. It's when we start operating out of love where we become peak performers. It's when we stop operating out of fear of what others think and stop operating out of selfish greed where it becomes clearer on what goals we should be pursuing 
and it's likely where we find the necessary motivation to follow through on those goals and succeed. If you're in a rut right now and contemplating giving up, give these ideas some thought and I hope it provides you the motivation to keep going. Also, if you're new to this channel and want to see more videos like these, consider subscribing today and look for new videos that post at 12 Eastern Time. This is your friend Michael, helping you transform your thinking for the better. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.